What's up guys? So, as some of my videos you may have seen, we had a uh, electric winch. It went out on me a couple weeks back and I've been hand turning everything on the big logs. I hand turn all small logs. But, this is a Harbor Freight 2,000 pound electric hoist. It went out on me uh, a couple weeks back, but, but it, it worked in active use for over six years. So, yeah, it was definitely worth it. But since it went out, I actually went to Harbor Freight. If you'll pan over there, you'll see we got a new one, uh, the exact same one. It lasted six years. Hopefully that one does the same. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna put it back in. I am gonna try to move. One of the things I had to complain about this one, personally, uh, I had this one offset a little bit due to how these old rafters were made. And no, I've never had any issue with it pulling this rafter. It's just rolling the log. We're not picking up logs with it. It just rolls the log, so it's not, putting out that much force just to turn the log. But anyway, I had it too far back due to how this rafter was made, and, and I really wish I could get it forward because it needs to be directly over the log so we're just rolling straight up the way this thing's intended to, to work, pulling straight up, not sideways. So I'm gonna see if I can get that done, and uh, I'm gonna drop this thing down, which is just four bolts holding this thing. And they, they screw down with these top brackets into a uh, like a captured nut that's welded inside of here. So let's drop this one and then we'll uh, let me get these bolts loose and then we'll bring you back as I take it down. It gets kind of interesting um, dropping this thing because it's about, I don't know, 60, 70 pounds, maybe more. It's, it's hot, it's heavy. So I'll bring you back. All right, so I just took that one down kind of sketchy getting that down because it's pretty heavy but anyway got it down now i'm about to get this one out of the box put it up there and hopefully i don't have to do that again for several years because it's pretty heavy uh i gotta figure out how to get it up Okay guys, so I'm on my other camera for a moment now. My other one died, GoPro died. So I got it hung in place. We just, one of us came up each shot of this sketchy ladder situation we got going on, I know. And it's in place and we're gonna hook it up here and get it close to this as we can. We'll pull the plug over the top and out of the way and stick it here. This is hanging directly over the carriage now. Um, and we'll have it installed here in a moment. So let me get it, uh, let me get it tightened down, and then we will uh, make a little video of uh, hopefully it working perfectly. Matter of fact, while I got you on camera, <laughs> and I'm thinking about it because I don't want to run those screws or those bolts I have up there all the way in just to find out that, oh wait, it didn't ever work to start with. So check it out. Let's do a little pluggy plug. There we go. We'll test it before we ever do all that work, huh? All right, maybe this safety switch. Okay, that's off. It's got tape on here, but. Maybe I should read the instructions. Okay, we got down. Just gotta figure out what I'm missing here. Somebody's gonna be like, I know the answer already. All right, so check it out. Let me show you what I found. Of course, you've seen my uh, fail there of trying to figure it out. So the reason it's not going up is there's a safety switch. Turn the camera there, right there. And if you notice, there is a, see, focus. That nut should be right there that holds that in place. And that's not allowing the safety switch to uh, allow it to come back up. So I'm gonna see if that spilled out in the box or if they took that out on purpose uh, for safety or something. I'm guessing it literally just was not put there or fell out in the box. Let's figure it out. Okay, so we determined that that was just a missing screw. I went on the old one, which is a, uh, well, can't get it to focus, but anyway. It's the same exact piece, so I robbed that one off of the old one. I'm gonna put it up here. Let's see if I can get it in place while it's up here. 
it's in an odd angle so i may have to take that spring off to get to it i don't want it to Now, without handling it, it should, let's see, up and down, down, up, we're good to go. Right, so now it's just time to tighten it down, getting close. This is what you call a uh, budget log turner. And uh, I know it's kind of all over the internet. People have seen, if you're into sawmilling and stuff, you've seen people mention stuff like this. And uh, I'm an actual user of one of these for a long time. Like I had this one, the last one for six years. It actually works really, really well. So anybody out there that's running any form of manual mills from like a small band mill to a circle mill and you just need a way to turn those big logs that you can't turn yourself overhead winch absolutely will take care of that issue if it's a probably 15 inch and under log i wouldn't even waste my time touching a winch because i don't i don't need it but when they get 18 plus and especially with my particular circle mill here, I actually have to, uh, you know, you know, I have to clamp it or the dogs, the, the dogging system on here, the way I pick those levers up and drop them down. It's hard to hold the log against it and do that. But with this winch, it has a break, this hoist. So wherever you stop it, that's where it stops. So it holds it up against those backstops and I'm able to let go and then and dog it. So it's got, it's like having a whole other person down here. It's actually better. It's like having a really strong person down here. I highly recommend implementing one of these if you need one. If you're thinking you need one, you, you probably need one. All right, so she's tight. So this is kind of some, I guess, how-to, so to speak. How-to video, how to turn your logs easily. And, uh, okay, let me show you. There, there's, there's another portion of this that is uh, what, what gives you the ability to turn the log. Let me move my ladder system here out of the way. Now, I will bunch this up and, and make this to where it's kind of just something I can reach and grab. I've got a spring and a string around here. Check this out. It's a long spring I have. See this? I'll tie that up on a bolt up there or something because we don't want that happening. And I'll have that to where I, it, it'll be springing, but it'll be sitting right here out of the way. On some of my old videos, if you go back and look, because i got several circle mill videos now, this was hitting my head, and that's because it was back over here. It was in my way. I went ahead and put it directly over the carriage this time. And see, now, if I spring this up here, yeah, I'll have to reach for it. But when I need this, it will be out of my way. See? So you have to have a hook. And I got it clipped here. So what I do is get a log up here. I can't roll it. And uh, you got to roll it back to the, uh, to the thing so you... You go behind the log, under the log, and hook it up here on the face wherever you need it. You have to lower this down wherever you need to for the width of your log. You hook it on the front of the log, and then when it's hooked on the front of that log, and it pulls up, you turn the log. I'll catch you a log on here tomorrow, and uh, I'll finish this video with that uh, log up here, and I'll show you turning a decent size log. I got couple 20 something inch logs and then uh last thing and i'll make this on the video i'm gonna hang the spring up here so this right here and that right there will hang up out of the way which is way out of the way of a log passing through here so let's get that hung up okay so check it out last part of the video of installing this turner up here is uh my little spring making as i was telling you about this is how i keep it out of my way uh it's not a not a real stretch if i just pick my arm up it's right there 
it's on a spring. So if I need to get back, I'm under tension here, of course, but I can get back and I can hit my button. But I mean, mostly I just want it up out of my way and I'll just be, you know, using that when I need it. So that is a video. Let me see this camera for a second. I'll come in here of the hoist above the carriage. And you can see how I've got it installed there. I got a plug up there for it. So I'll get a log turning on it and we'll show you that part. Okay, now we're gonna show the turner actually in use on a big log. This is a, uh, we've had to hexagon it down to get it size wise. I think we started out somewhere in the neighborhood of 24, 26 inches. But usually I have someone else running around back that's working the opposite side of the mill to do this but I don't have that person that's running the camera right now. So you just come over here, you run that around your log, right? And once that's around your log, it's generally a good idea if you take you something and tap in. I don't have my hammer handy, so I'll just, just to kind of set that where it goes. And then I want this flat face that I've got on this big log. I want it down on the bunks so it's 90 degrees so i'm gonna let the bunks go back just a touch i'm gonna hold this up out of my way we're gonna let this flat face here is what's got to go down sometimes you have to reposition this if it gets too far you might have to go under Just like that, she's turned. That's out of my way. So now I can saw my next line. 